Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. We daily vlog so you can enjoy today's video. Come back tomorrow on the next day. We're just relaxing on the sidewalk in the shade on this beautiful morning. She's the cutest. So Sarah's making a little lunch. We're gonna have some some chili and French fries, like 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 uh, what's that called with the cheese and the and the fries in uh, Canada. Poutine. We're gonna have chili poutine. Is what I'm calling it. Um, I put on normal like outside clothes because I just needed to feel fresher today. Um, it's noon. It's past noon. It's almost one. Sarah's uploading the vlog. We've become obsessed with. Let me take pause. Him. Our newest Netflix obsession is somebody feed Phil. He's the writer from Everybody Loves Raymond, so you know we're gonna love it. But he's just really good. He's really good at like showing the culture and the history of the countries he's visiting to eat all the delicious food. Um, makes me excited for the world traveling that we're still gonna do. We haven't talked about it a whole lot, but like Sarah and I both acknowledge the fact that like we're probably going to really start traveling more once James is here because like ever since we've been married the goal has been to grow our family and I feel like that's take precedence over everything which is one of the reasons why we probably haven't gone and moved into Florida to like travel the world because anytime we head off we would be using it to like visit Chicago but like once James is here like let's I want to show James the world and I want to show us the world let's have a party let's have a parade do you know what that's from? No. Let's make a party out of it. Let's have a parade. It's from Frosty the Snowman. So we have to look up. I know you can get, I know because of bucket list that you can get babies' passports like after they're born. So we have to do that right away because when James is just after turns one, is going to be traveling to South Africa to see me say farewell to me on World Marathon Challenge. So I'm excited to travel the world. Sarah's also setting up some red lentils to prepare for dinner tonight. They take a little longer to cook, so I figured I might as well you get to get them. Get that done, and then they can just be ready. Not ready. Sarah's like preparing our lunch, and I didn't have a clue of what she was microwaving, and it just went off and said, "I walk over and look at the." I was hiding from Eve, <laughs> and Sarah pulls a plate out from like that was on top of it. And she's <laughs> heating up the chili on a plate. It was the largest surface area we had. <laughs> and it's a little longer. She's being so risky and in a white shirt. Are you tired now, Eve? When you can't have a Disney dipping station, you bring the Disney dipping station to yourself. I can, I can hear the salivation. <laughs> I couldn't even say those words. Dipping station. Honey mustard, I miss you. I love you. Please know that. Well, it's come to that point. Christina has inspired Sarah with the confidence she's always had the ability but with the confidence to take on the challenge of shaving my head Sarah's buzzed my head from 2012 until like a year ago year and a half ago no longer than that for about four years five years um, Sarah was buzzing my head super easy so we have clippers with all the different settings and everything but she's never done it stylized and that's what we're gonna do but Christina did grant with an eight on top and then a three two one fade so I told Sarah 
she's game for trying. And if it messes up, then we're just going to buzz it all down to a one, which I have done before. Um, That's what I used to do. Yeah, so I think she's going to do great. But we're going to we're gonna get set up to do this. Here we got our Remington, and I got the 8321. I cleaned up that because we haven't used it in a long time. It still works great. And that you don't leave behind any patches of hair. So just make sure you take your time here. So I was watching some tutorials to get some helpful hints. Alright, here's Ready? Sarah's workstation. This is newish. Yeah, we got it. It's kind of silly. Like, we got it within a couple, like, I want to say three or four months from when we decided that I'd stop getting my head buzzed. Yeah, we're not doing like a tutorial or anything. No. We're just... But I'll link the what I watched in the description. We're going to start with an eight all over as a base. And then go to Work on one. the fade. Yeah. <laughs> and worst case, we'll just go down to one completely. And yeah. you're a pro at doing that. Haven't done it in a long time. All right, here's the last look. I was just combing my hair. I should probably get it all set for you. Say goodbye to Harry Creepy Peter. That's the eight. You're rocking and rolling. That is the shorter. Show you how much hair we cut off. Oh my gosh, Peter's in a shower before the reveal. Fresh. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like the fade could have been a little better, but I think I did. It's great. Fine. You did perfect. I need some. What's the What's the Zoolander look? Blue. Steel. Blue steel though. <laughs> I feel great. I feel fresh. This is what my morale needed. This is what my head needed. Good. All my video calls on Monday morning, everyone's going to be like, how'd you get a haircut? My great wife. Wow. We have our dinner spread ready. I made lentils, sloppy joes, the lentils turned to mush. I think I need to perfect my lentil cooking skills, but it tastes really good. There's red peppers and zucchini and onions involved, and some barbecue sauce, tomato sauce. Um, a little bit of mustard, lots of chili powder, and paprika. Just toasted these buns. We're gonna top our sandwiches with this coleslaw. And we have buffalo cauliflower as a side dish with some ranch to dip it in. And you cannot forget the side pickle. Here's your little sandwich. That looks stellar. using this time to get back into an imaginary story because we actually never watched it. We watched like the Disneyland and Disney World episodes basically, right? First two. Yeah. But now we're at Hong Kong. Tokyo Disneyland had to open for the country to begin to heal. We had people running to hug Mickey. <laughs> and thank him. And you go, this is, <laughs> this is what we do. Right? Who would have known that episode five of the Imagineering story would be so relevant? Mm -hmm. It ended with talking about when there was an earthquake in Japan. I'll put in, I put in the clip before this clip. 
but oh my gosh it's emotional and so true and so relevant yeah as much as uh the world's going to be different when all this passes and the theme parks are definitely going to be different when this all passes but the right, theme parks are still going because this is a this is a uh pandemic it's not yeah. you know opening the, the well, park just regardless yeah. the parks and the magic they bring are still going to be there in just a different capacity for all of us yeah and i like maybe i haven't thought about that a lot the reopening maybe just like I know it's going to happen, but, like, I haven't been, like, visioning it. And to, like, see people, like, return. Like, life will go back to some sort of new normal. You know, it's not going to be like this forever. And that's really exciting and happy. And I know it's going to be emotional because this is going to be talked about. Forever. In history books, yeah. So. So now we have one more last. It's wild. Imagineering story to watch. Yeah, and if you haven't watched the Imagineering story, or you already have, <laughs> I'm sure we're. I think we're the last two people that. <laughs> and have Josh from Resort right, TV yeah, One, because we were on there. Um, we talked to Josh for a little during the Resort TV One live stream, and he also had only watched a couple. He's of only them. watched the first three. He said, "Yeah, and he needs to watch the rest of it." But besides us and Josh from Resort <laughs> TV One, I think everyone else in the world has watched the Imagineering story, yeah. and us two of all people you think would have been the first thing we watched. I don't know. Like, there truly isn't a reason. Yeah. But we have one more to go. One hour later. Well, 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 well. Was that good or what? That was great. I feel like we've been doing a... For it going on, like, six weeks now? This will be the seventh week, I think. Um, I feel like we've been doing a really good job at, like, not talking and not missing. No, not like we've been missing, but not, like... Overly, we moved our life here, right? To live in Disney World. We didn't, we moved here because I got a job here, but I got a job here because of Disney World. Yes, we moved here for We're the not theme Florida parks. People. <laughs> We're not Florida people, we're not Orlando people. We are Disney World people, mm -hmm. and the parks are this is going to be the seventh week, I think, that they're closed. Yeah, and we miss it. Yeah, also, like, we would have had visitors, and we won't say specifics. Yes. People um, were supposed to show up today. We're supposed to show up today, which is like super, you know, hard for us to take. We've got a family trip in <laughs> in five or six five or six weeks. Supposed that to be is from still now. So TBD. Many uncertainties. It's just like I think you're right. Like we haven't been. We've been watching a lot of other like, stuff, other things, and we and. <laughs> Besides, like, us watching our own vlogs from those past trips, like, we've really been distant. But the Brookharts like, miss Disney. <laughs> so bad. So. So bad. So and I bad. think that was, I don't know if that was a good or bad thing we did tonight by watching it, because it, I'm busted open. Yeah. I miss it. I told Sarah, because Sarah was like, because, like, there's, here in Florida, not to make this, this last clip really long, but here in Florida, as of right now, our state home order is supposed to end on the 30th of April, and there's no word of our governor is going to extend. And if he's not going to extend, what are the guidelines for opening business? Right. And we're so Sarah also, and I, we're also in a very different situation with me expecting a baby. Well, but yeah, but what I want to say before we get into too okay. many details is, if the parks open, we assume the parks are going to open in a healthy and safe manner. But if for some reason we believe that they're not doing everything possible, sure enough, you know, Sarah and I are going to do. What we think is necessary, but even if it means just me and Sarah driving to the Polynesian and sitting on the beach of the Polynesian, like yeah. just because a park opened doesn't mean you're going to see me and Sarah licking the guardrails of Space Mountain, <laughs> you know? Like, even if we want to. Right, even if we want to doesn't mean we're going to, but like. Right. But yeah, we're going to go about everything safely. Yeah. Let's go do our message. Sugar, sugar, boo, sugar, sugar, who? Love, sugar, boo. What does that mean? That means we got it. It came much quicker than we expected. He said there are two ways to live your life. One is though nothing is a miracle, and the other is though everything is a miracle. Well, if you are Sarah Peter Burkhart or you watch us on the Burkhart Project vlog, we hope that you aspire, that you believe that everything is a miracle. All right, it is the last Sunday of April, the 26th. I cannot believe April is already coming to an end. Today's quote is by Emerson. 
be careful what you set your heart upon, for you will surely have it. Um, Eve couldn't join our sign off today because she's sleeping underneath a table right now. Mm -hmm. And I have to crawl underneath and, and get her without disturbing her too much. But we have um, James with us right here. Wow, special guy. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>